How's it going, everyone? I increased the settings again, so if it lags out, I'm sorry. Ooh, Rush. Okay, that's when I was, like, gone from my PC for a long time. Rush was one of the maps I really wanted to play when they first announced it, but they had to release it, like, the day after I first left. So, I don't know, this, might, this is gonna be my first time trying it, I guess. Oh, wasn't this, like, a... Okay, I know this is a Black Ops 4, but was, is it, wasn't this, like, a Black Ops 2 map originally? I swear I've played this once before on, like, Plutonium. We're here on Black Ops Cold War today. I mean, it's been getting a lot more, you know, positive attention recently. Obviously, like, every... Can you guys see those? Yo, my, yo, my PC's about to crash. What the hell? Okay, the VRM is just really. I'm gonna turn. On, I'm gonna turn off anti aliasing real, real quick. All right, I should fix it. Yeah, this game's been definitely getting a lot more positive attention recently. And honestly, I'd go as far as to say that if they didn't have skill based matchmaking in this game, then this would probably be the closest thing we'd have to a perfect multiplayer Call of Duty. I said it. I don't. I don't care what any of you guys say. Like overall, like all the modern stuff about it, just like I don't know, man. It just feels so good to play. And at least in my opinion, it's it would be it would be really close to perfect. Obviously, there's still you know other issues, but for most of that's like personal preference stuff. Like you know, I want them to bring back pick ten. I want lobbies to like stop disbanding automatically. Stuff like that, you know, that I, I really wish they'd bring back. But I mean, for the most part, that's just personal preference. The only thing pe people like actively despise is skill based matchmaker, at least the way it's implemented in this game. That was the main thing people were complaining about back when this game was big, and that's still the main thing people are complaining about. But, I mean, free, the DLC is free. When they get new maps, you get those for free. You don't have to, like, pay extra DLC money for that. You have to do that on Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, every other Call of Duty game before, well, Modern Warfare. But Modern Warfare has its, like, own, like, insane amount of issues. Modern Warfare feels good, though. I will give it that, and it looks, like, really nice. It's just insanely campy and just poorly designed, and the maps are dog shit. Wow, this is very one-sided. But I really don't have any major gripes about this game. Like my my main black my main game for a good while now. Like I, I usually don't play the newest Call of Duty's that much. But I mean my so my last game was Black Ops 4 in this case. But I feel like that's just so it's kind of just so comically absurd in a way that I couldn't really get used to it. I mean, first of all, Black Ops 4 I didn't play in its prime, so I have like no idea of how good it, it would actually be. If it was during the hype meme on Black Ops Cold War, I did actually play it around the time it was out. So obviously, I knew how it felt playing it. I knew the, I, I knew just like the type of vibes, all that stuff. So that definitely makes me feel like a lot better playing this game. But that has nothing to do with. Now, if I said this exact same thing in the prime of the game, then, you know, I get I get shit on because it was it was it, had, it was full of bugs. It had it had like a ton of other issues. There's no other bugs I like specifically remember. I do know that Miami is not a good map, but. Everyone knows that. Every Call of Duty has to have one garbage map. There's no Call of Duty with perfect maps all around. It just always has one stinker. Now, you may have noticed that I did always emphasize multiplayer Call of Duty. And I also didn't say League Play. Le league Play, Black Ops 2 is still the greatest League Play. But this is certainly, certainly not the best for campaign. I haven't played the campaign yet, but all I've really heard is that's just okay. Like, there's nothing awful like Black Ops 3, but it's, it's pretty alright. The campaign GOAT will forever be Black Ops 1, at least in my opinion. And World that War is like a close second. I have no clue what that guy was trying to do. Did they nerf the Diamante, by the way? I swear it was way more powerful back in the day. Now I'm just like garbage than that because I haven't used it in forever. I don't know, but it just doesn't feel nearly as good as it used to. I don't know why I'm sweating on these kids. I have, I have a, I'm actually popping off right now. I could just shot if I wanted, but nah. I gotta go all out for these kids. Okay, somehow they got a kill streak. Huh? Excuse me. Okay, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm like particularly better than anyone on their team. It's just that, like, my team is horrible. Let's go with matchmaking. It's still ass, but everyone knows that it's not good. I really hope that for Modern Warfare 2, they just like bring bring back how it used to be. 
Because, I mean, every Call of Duty has had skill-based matchmaking, but it wasn't nearly as insane mental, you know. Like, play two games and you're suddenly CD all god number one amazing, you know? But yeah, my graphics card can't take this any longer. Thanks for watching.